So I got a comment on one of my videos the other day and somebody was asking about the new journey feature in Warpath. Let's pull up that comment, let's see what it says, and then we're gonna discuss what we're gonna do in this video specifically. So here is the comment that we got from Jeremy Sutton, 7860, and he said, did you use the new journey feature on an old account? I've been wanting to do it on an alt account, but afraid I would lose my main account. And then I commented, I said, I did not. I just started a brand new account from scratch. So Jeremy, so you don't have to test it and risk anything. We're going to do it today. We are going to take one of my old alt accounts on server uh, 34. And I made it a long time ago. I haven't been on this thing in, gosh, I don't know, a year at least, a year or more, probably more. Um, I made it back with some friends from server 13. They had started on this server a long time ago. I originally was going to play with them. Managing two accounts is hard enough, so I just kind of let the account go, obviously, uh, and haven't really done anything else with it. But when I got that comment, I'm like, well, heck, I've got a spare alt account. Let's see what happens. I mean, if I screw it up, at least it's on me and you guys know how to not do it, I guess. But if it works, you guys understand how the process works and, you know, it'll be informative for everybody. So we're going to give it a try today. So let's jump into the video and see what happens. Welcome back guys. So before we jump into the video, if you guys do enjoy the videos on the channel, find value out of the videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And if you guys do have questions like Jeremy and want help getting them answered, come hop into our community discord server. The link to it is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community discord server. We've got over 1300 amazing people there. Everybody's happy to help you guys. Come ask your questions, come learn, come hang out. We'd love to have you. All right, now let's Let's jump into the actual meat of the video here. So the new journey, let's talk about it for those of you that may not be familiar with what it is and everything involved. So let's kind of discuss that on the front end and then let's actually go through the new journey process here together and see what happens. All right, so this is the description of the new journey and kind of what all is involved. So we're gonna read it together. Uh, it's maybe a little long winded, I don't know. So bear with me, but we're gonna talk through it together. It says, Commander, welcome back to Warpath. While you were away, we added plenty of new ways to strengthen your forces. If you were having trouble catching up and wish to play alongside commanders of similar power, we recommend that you head to a new server where you can embark on a new journey and forge a new legend. We've prepared two bonuses to help you with your journey. Bonus one, inheritance. When you create a new role during the event, you can choose another returning role on your account with the highest in-game purchase total. Your new role will be able to inherit 50% of the VIP points and gold from that returning roles in game purchases up to 300k VIP points and 300k gold. Note, you can only use the inheritance feature once per account. In other words, you can only choose one new role to be the inheritor and two, only the in-game purchases of one returning role can be given to the inheritor. 50% of the inherited VIP points and gold can be acquired for free through the event, while the rest can be acquired through purchasing advanced rewards. Bonus two, starter bonus. When you create a new role under your existing account during the event, you will be eligible for an exclusive gift. So that's kind of the new journey system or process in a nutshell. Now let's take a look at these four tabs on the left here. We've got the new journey tab, the prime bus tab, the return road and power boost. All right, so let's take a look at the new journey tab here. It says, welcome back commander, embark on a new journey on a new server to enjoy the special gifts we've prepared for you. We look forward to seeing what new legends you'll write. And then it's got this inheritance breakdown right here. This will tell you kind of the total number of VIP points you're going to get and the total gold. So I would become VIP two on this new server. And then I would have 2,400 gold given to me through the inheritance feature. We've also got this starter bonus over here. Uh, it says create a new role to acquire the following additional gifts. We have got a covert battle pass discount coupon. Use this item when purchasing a covert battle pass for 30% off. Each coupon can only be used once. The second item is an arms deal discount coupon. Use this item when purchasing an arms deal for 30% off. 
Each coupon can only be used once. We've got the Welcome Back Avatar Frame, exclusive avatar frame for returning players. We get 30 Universal Coupons and 10 Golden Officer Statues. All right, moving on to tab number two, the Prime Buffs. It says, use the following Prime Buffs to make a major comeback. You're going to get Research Speed of plus 10%, Collection Speed plus 50%, Troop Training Speed, plus 50%. Raven Loot, plus 100%. Alliance Contribution Rewards, plus 100%. And Alliance Assists, plus 5 Now, something to note, you do not get these buffs permanently. You get these buffs for the duration of the event. So you can, you guys can see in the top left-hand corner here, uh, time left is 13 days, 4 hours. So once we make this account, we're going to have roughly that amount of time with these buffs in effect. So it says plus 10% tech research speed during the event, excluding Alliance techs. And that's the same for all of them. Tab number three is returning road. It says sign in daily to claim exclusive skins and tons of resources. Day one, we're going to get five migration passes. Uh, those expire in 27 days and four hours. And then we have also got this welcome back skin. Let's see what this says. Limited time migration command. Limited time migration commands will be consumed before regular migration commands when you migrate between servers during the event. After the event ends, this item will be converted into other rewards. And then the rest of the items are actually pretty good. There's a whole bunch of them. You guys see day one through seven here, and then day eight through 14, 15 through 21, and then 22 through 28. So. I mean, really, there's some good stuff here. There really is. Uh, unit skin pack or pit, unit skin pick, sorry. Open to select one of the following lightning, jungle, or zebra. Uh, so that's pretty cool stuff. So that is the third tab here, returning road. Let's take a look at power boost. All right, guys, we have the power boost tab pulled up. And this looks similar to kind of a battle pass progression system here. Uh, we have got a bunch of different levels uh, and it goes all the way to level 50 like normal. And then after level 50, you guys are going to have a chance uh, to get these items as additional rewards on top of the items from the first 50 levels. Uh, so you guys can progress through uh, these different levels here, purchase points. Uh, so it looks like you guys can actually come in here in the pass dash and purchase uh some additional items and also get some points along with it it looks like you guys can get some migration commands ammo arms exp etc and then basically same thing here so you can kind of piggyback items off of that and then in addition to that it looks like you have got uh some missions here that you can complete uh pretty basic stuff just collecting resources some raven missions etc etc so pretty basic stuff here with power boost um so now let's jump in and let's actually see what happens when we actually try to go through this new journey process and take our account to a new server. All right, so let's uh, create a new role and let's see what happens. Let's see if this takes this current account here on server 34 and moves it into a new server and we get all of these buffs along with it or if it just creates a whole brand new role in general, we've got these limited migration or limited time migration passes. Uh, so let's see what it's all about and, and what happens. So let's click on create a new role. Uh, it looks like server 78 is the newest server. And if you are going through this process, guys, this is definitely one piece of advice I would give. Uh, go to the newest server so that way you have the uh, most even playing field that you could possibly have. You don't want to take a kind of a dead account in a older server and then move it to another older server where, I mean, unless you're talking about spending hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, in a very short amount of time, you know, there's really no realistic chance for you to catch up. Uh, so move it to the newest server. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, we'll go, it looks like um, Basra is probably going to be our... Uh, destination of choice in server 78. So let's click on this and see what happens. So guess we're going to load up here. I've not, like I said, I've never done this before myself, guys. So this is going to be a, you know, a whole new brand new experience for me too. Uh, so looks like maybe we're going through these kind of beginning stage missions, if you will. Um, all right, let's kind of blow through this. These, act these missions are actually uh, entirely different than when I first started the game. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, that's fast. Uh, right click to aim down, mouse wheel to scroll in, left click to fire. Okay, got it. I think we eliminated our target. 
All right, Raven is down. Let's see. Okay. Oh, great. It's going to make us do more? Huh. All right. So we've got to get our little wooden boat here. Okay, we've got to identify our buddy here. Okay. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to shoot him or shoot at him, I should say. That's not good. <laughs> that was not my intention. Um, okay. Got it. All right, so we have to shoot these raven guys. All right, aim down. Let's do the same thing here. Okay, great. Got it. We did our job. All right, we're going to move our wooden boat. Uh, I did not expect to have to go through these these raven missions, so I apologize. It's taken a little bit of extra time, but I guess we can have some fun and, you know, knock out two birds with one stone here while we uh, work and learn together. Uh, okay, so we are almost to our final point. I guess we got to take down this guy. Um, okay, looks like great. Perfect. We did our job. Okay, perfect. He's going, it looks like a bomb on his back. Fantastic. That's safe. Perfect. Okay, we planted our bomb. Now we're back in our wooden boat because uh, that is clearly the safest thing that we could possibly find. <laughs> Um, okay, you've got one job, uh, or you've got one shot to detonate the bomb. The blast needs to take out both tanks at once. Easy peasy. Yeah, easy peasy, no problem. All right. This is some big tanks. All right, so I'm assuming when they're both in the red, that's when we want to take our shot. Looks like now is a good time to do so. Um... Perfect. We hit our bomb and there goes the bridge. Great. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, man, we got to do more. Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. OK, maybe we're done. These are kind of the beginning stage missions. OK, let's see what happens. All right, it looks like we're going to go deploy our base and. See what we've got. Base built. Okay. Um, okay. I guess it's going to make me go through these beginning stage missions. Can I click? I just want to see if I have... I want to see if we still have our other role in server 34. Or if this took the place of that role. Or... If it just made a new roll, I don't know. Great. Okay, got to select our troops. Got to go here. Got it. Okay. Understood. Oh, man. I Okay, Commander. So the name has changed because our na the name of our account was New Journey Test. Uh, so it has uh, since changed that name, unless it's an entirely new role. Uh, I just want to get through these missions. Sorry that we're having to go through these guys. I just want to get through these and see if we lost access to our previous account, if it just took it and basically reset it, or really, I guess, kind of what the situation here is at hand. So hopefully we can uh, move through these as fast as possible um yeah because normally that makes sense guys with guns uh can take out tanks it's, that makes sense okay got it okay perfect perfect got it thank you okay we've got bloody mary oh my gosh the pain of going through the new phases of the game or can i can i click here oh man okay Got it. Great. Bloody Mary's equipped now. Fantastic. Okay, great. Got it. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. Okay, we're going to... This is new. This is definitely new. I did not experience this it, when I first started playing the game. So they've definitely upgraded this. Warning signal interrupted. Okay, understood. Got it. Got it. Got it. Can I click here now? Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, this is getting painful. <laughs> this is getting painful, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, great. So right-click to aim down. Can we not do this? Is there a way to not do this? 
Uh, snipe the Raven agent to save the scientist. Ooh, okay, I'm assuming he's going to be our agent of choice. Um, okay, got it. Our job is done. Uh, okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for this. Okay, all right. I don't... Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Got it, understood. Can we just click on our freaking... Oh, my gosh. Okay, all right. Let's get through this. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Can we click? Okay, thank goodness. All right, now let's see. We've gone through this whole, you know, early stage of the game thing. Now let's see if we have access to our Server 34 account, if we've lost it, if it's moved in the whole create a new role, uh, just basically took that account and moved it. It doesn't appear like that is the case. Uh, so we still have access to uh, all of our accounts. So this is in server 78 in basra we still got my main account my server 69 account and then my server 34 account so let's load up this new journey account uh and let's see what happens um let's see here so that means if we did the creator role thing then that's just kind of what it sounds like and it's you're just creating a, literally a brand new role uh and so we're still on server 34 here um, okay, so let's try to, let's try to do this then. Um, okay, let's zoom out and let's see, can we go, whoops, can we go to, um, rookie server, uh, migration requirements not met. Okay, so essentially, I believe the newest server for people to migrate to is going to be server 40, uh, but we can't migrate because we're at level where our command center is not at level 25 okay so this is this is interesting so we you can't actually especially if it's like a basically a completely dead account that you stop playing in the early stages of the game you can't migrate that anyway because it's not level 25 now if your base is level 25 and you've come back to the game then you can use these limited migrate limited time migration passes to move the account but if it's not then you really don't have that option. You've got to kind of stay in your server, level up your base, and then possibly move it. But it really seems like the best option here and the best route here is just to create a brand new role and to start from scratch in a brand new server. But one thing I want to test, one more thing I want to test here is we were able to come back to this account in this role, but I want to sign in to my main account uh, on server 24 one more time and i want to see if we still have access to it or if we have lost access to it throughout this process so loading up here okay so we still got access okay great uh now let's jump back over to the server 34 uh and kind of wind this down so we have figured out that by creating a new role you can quite literally just start a brand new role, which you don't even have to use the new journey process to do that. Uh, if you do want to get the benefit of this new journey system, uh, then you're going to have to stay on your current account and play it from where you've picked up at to get these benefits and these buffs. So these benefits and these buffs really don't have uh, any benefit to you really unless you stay on the account that you're coming back to if you make a new account it doesn't appear like those things uh, actually apply and you're not going to get any of these resources either so it's all interesting stuff okay all right so at least we know right um yeah i mean that's kind of where we're at guys i mean i hope again that this does help you guys i i've never gone through the new journey process so when i got that comment i'm like heck i'll try it and that way if it messes something up or whatever at least it's on me and not you guys but it doesn't seem to really mess anything up at all uh it just doesn't seem like you're actually going to be able to take your your base and kind of move it to a brand new server and essentially have a, you know a pretty considerable head start but i mean there's some value here again depending on kind of what your goals and aspirations are if it's me guys uh and you've been out of the game for really any substantial length of time if you've been out of the game for like two weeks on vacation or work 
you're, you're going to be fine, right? Like just come back, pick up where you left off. Two weeks is not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. You're not going to be, uh, you know, any, any farther behind or anything like that in, in the grand scheme of things. If you guys are gone like two months, that's probably a different story. It might be worth your time to go through this new journey process, kind of catch back up a little bit. If you've been gone for six, eight months, a year, then I would just suggest starting at a brand new server, starting from scratch, starting where you're on a level playing field with all of the other players in that server and just rebuilding a base. As tedious as that might sound, that's probably going to be your best bet if you've been out of the game for any real length of time. I know this video was a little bit like long winded, if you will, but it gives us all a chance to learn. It gives me a chance to learn and be able to advise you know, you guys, if you have any questions about this new journey process, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys did find any value in this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And again, just a reminder, if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community Discord server. If you've got questions, just want to come hang out and chat. We've got over 1300 people in the server. We would love to have you come join us and be a part of it. Thanks for hanging out with me on the video today guys and we'll catch you guys on the next one